Hi, and in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your images in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert my image. So I go up to insert, picture, picture from file, and then just click insert. Once your image has been inserted, sometimes it's a little tricky to move around and it's a bit clunky. So the way we fix that is right click, go down to wrap text, and then go down to in front of text. And now you can move that image anywhere in your document. So I'm going to make a copy of this image by holding down my Alt key, clicking on the image and dragging it down. Now once I've made a copy, I'm going to work on the bottom one and this will give us the opportunity to see the difference between the top and the bottom image. So select the bottom image, make sure you're on the picture format tab at the top and then there's a selection of options at the top here. The first one is corrections. Click on the drop down. Now here you're given a number of presets on brightness and contrast and sharpen and soften. In a minute I'll show you how to use some sliders so that you can create just small increments. So I'm going to go down to this image here I think, see how that looks. It's a little bit too contrasty for me so I'm going to go back by pressing Command or Control Z. Go back up to corrections and I'm going to select this one here. Perfect. Then at the top I can go to Sharpen or Soften, I'm just going to Sharpen by 25%. And then I can go along to Colour. Now I click on the drop down here, and at the top here you've got Colour Saturation, so I can go all the way down to Black and White, or I can go all the way up to Full Saturation. So for this one, if I take it down just a little bit, turn the saturation down by 66, you can see how it slightly dulls the image. I can then use the colour tone and this will turn your image slightly more blue and cooler looking. Or we can go the other way and warm the image up by using more yellows and oranges. Again it's a personal taste so I'm just going to take it up slightly to warm that up. Once you're happy with that, you can go to this Artistic Effect slider, click on the drop down. You can see here we've got a number of different effects that you can choose from. So, for example, you can make it look like a chalky sketch, or you can pixelate it. It's entirely up to you. And then finally, we've got transparency. So, if you wanted to write on your image or place some graphics on top, then you can just increase the transparency until you're happy and then you can create some text or graphics that can go on the top. Now there are some more detailed sliders that can be used when editing your image so if you either double click on your image or you go across to this icon here that says format pane then this picture format menu will appear. So firstly if we go onto the picture icon here and then we've got all these picture corrections, which we've just done. But in the picture corrections, although you're given the presets, which are here, you've also got these sliders, so that it means if you just wanted to make slight adjustments, then you can use these sliders instead. There we go. And again, the contrast, you can increase or decrease that contrast. Then we've got picture colour, again we've got the saturation that we can turn up or turn down. And temperature again, we can make this image much cooler by adding blues or much warmer by adding the yellows and oranges. Once again we've got picture transparency which is self-explanatory. And then of course we've got crop. Now the crop in this section here allows you to input your different dimensions. But if you just want to move the sliders so that you can just cut off sections of your image, then you need to go up to picture format and along to this crop tool here. 
click on the drop down and select crop. Once you've selected the crop tool, you'll see that these black markers will appear around the edge of your image. Now all you need to do is hover your cursor over the different markers, it doesn't matter which one, and then you can just crop your image wherever you want it. So if we wanted to crop off this section slightly to the right, once you're happy, just press the return key. And there you've cropped your image. And then if we just go back up to the menu, we've got a number of different options here, including effects. We go to the effects tab here. We've got options of a shadow. Again, we have presets here. So let's just click on one. Let's just select this one. And then we can increase and decrease the size, the blur, the angle, and the distance away from your image. And there you can see, let's just click off that, and there you can see how the shadow works. We've also got reflections, so you can reflect your image. Just click on an option here. And as you can see, the image appears at the bottom. Let's just move this top image up a second. And you can see how this reflection works. Again, you can use the transparency tool if you want it more or less transparent. The size means it just reveals more or less of the image. The blur to make it more or less blurry. And of course, the distance away from your image. And it can make it look like your image is floating. So I'm just going to take that off for a second. Just bring everything back down. And then we've got a glow effect, which is where you can put a glow around the outside of your image. We've got soft edges. This is usually more useful using the slider. So, oh, we've selected the wrong image. So using the slider, you can see how the soft edge works. The 3D formats and rotation don't really work very well with images. And then you've got your artistic effects that we looked at earlier, where you can make your image look like it's a sketch or a painting. And finally, if we just look at the outline, so if you go to the fill and line tool here, if you go down to line and click solid line, this is where you can put an outline around your image. So let's go down to color. I'm just going to select black and I'm going to increase the width of my line here by increasing this to, we'll go for five so you can see. And then if I click off the image, you can see now my image has a black outline. Now, of course, you don't need to put a black outline around. You can choose from any of these color options. Or you can choose a different line, a double line, or a slightly more dotted or decorative effect. Now, one trick to note when using color, and there's a couple of ways you can use color when editing your images, is how you can access not just the colors from the presets, but actually any color on the spectrum. So let's just say, for example, there's two different ways that you can use color. So if we just select our image and we go up to the color icon at the top here, click on the drop down, and you can see we've got a number of different recolor options. Now, just below here, you've got this more variations option. And of course, you can pick from any of these colors. So let's just, for example, pick red. And you can see now there's a red overlay to your image. However, if red isn't the color you're looking for, then you can go down to more colors. When you click on more colors, you've got this color wheel. And here you can just pull this cursor around the color wheel and choose any color of the rainbow. Now, of course, once you've selected your color, that you can go ahead and use this slider to either increase the brightness or the darkness of that color. In addition, you can import an image and select a color from that image. If we select this eyedropper tool here, if I start to move this eyedropper tool over my image, you can see that I can select from any of the colors within this image. So if I wanted to select the blue in this corner here, it would select the color and pop it into this box here. Then all I do is click OK, 
and I've got that color that I've selected as an overlay. Now the other way that you can use these colors is from your outline. So of course if you go back up to the bucket icon over on your menu, go down to line and of course you go to color, apologies you can't see the whole of the presets, and go down to more colors, you've got exactly the same options once again. So if I wanted a pink border, the color will show up in this box here, click OK, and as you can see the border to my image has changed. So the options here are really endless. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.